All you need for the knees banded hip lift is uh, a resistance band or a mini band that provides enough resistance uh, for your current level. I've got a blue Perform Better mini band here. I'm just gonna slip it over my, over my legs, just above my knees. From here, I'm going to lay back, hands flat on the ground. I'm gonna bring my feet so they're flat. And you may have to play with the distance here from your hips. My feet are about hip width apart, and then I'm keeping my knees driven out against the band. I, I don't want there to be any slack in the band, so I'm making sure that the band is nice and tight. This turns on my hip abductors on the outside, and then from here, I'm going to tuck my chin, keep my head flat on the ground. I'm trying to keep my chest as low as possible. So I, it's as if I'm trying to keep my upper back flat on the ground as I squeeze my glutes and lift my hips. I'm squeezing as tight as I can. I'm trying to really focus on the muscle mind connection here as if I'm trying to squeeze a pencil in half. If I were trying to break a pencil between my cheeks, All I want is maximum contraction here as I keep my knees in line with my hips and ankles. Common mistakes. I see people will lift their chest up off the ground. So oftentimes they'll say, lift your hips to the, lift your hips to the ceiling and then they'll go like this. They'll go up, this is fine, this is fine. This is not fine. I don't wanna arch my lower back, I want hip extension, so I'm tucking my tailbone underneath, back nice and flat, hips up, chest down. You should feel this in your glutes.